Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand five tools available in all track designer platform. So for this, we will go on the canvas, click on input output categories, drag and drop input data tool, set up a connection, click on files. So you can drag and drop your data set directly here, or you can just select the file also. So I'll select the data set which is employee data. Click on it, click open, press run. Click on this green tab and you can see the data. So in the first column, we are having ID, second gender, birth date, education of an employee, job category, the current salary, beginning salary, job time, previous experience and minority. We want to change the field types. So click on preparation, select, and for ID, we will change it to double. Gender is a string, let it be birth date string. Education, uh, change it to double. Job category, make it double. Current salary is double. Salary begin is double. Job time, double. Previous experience is double and minority is double. Just a minute. Run it and the field types are changed. Uh, now drag and drop this style tool here. So in this we are having five options, equal sum, equal records, smart tile, unique value and manual. We'll start with the first one, equal sum. Now what this uh, what this equal sum tile method will do, it will create the five tiles on the basis of, let me expand this, on the basis of the field which we specify. Let us say we specify salary. So all those tiles, uh, let's see, tile number one, tile number two, tile number three, tile number four, and tile number five. If I take the summation of the salary of tile number one, it will be more or less equal to that of tile number two. Let's see, does it do that way or not? So equal sum and run it. Click on this green tab. Can you see this? Tile number one. How many tiles have been created? Five tiles have been created on the basis of equal sum. So just check it's five tiles. Yes, the five tiles are there. Now let's try to understand this. If I take the summation of just see this number of salary of the employees which are in tile number one. it will be more or less equal to the salary of all those employees which are in the salary, which are in the in the tile two. This will be more or less equal to tile number three, four, and five. This is uh, known as equal sum tile method. Now in this equal sum tile method, uh, we can also do the grouping, grouping according to the gender. Click on it and press run. Click OK. Again, pre, uh, click on this green tab. Now there will be 10 tiles. Let's try to understand how. In gender, two groups are there, male and female. And in each category, that is in female, there will be five tiles. Let's check. Is it so? So in females, there will be five tiles. One. Two, three, four, five, and in male there will be again five tiles. One, two, three, four, and five. Now understand this. The salary of 
female in tile number one will be equal more or less similar to the salary of the females all the female employees in tile number two so this is the method of equal uh, equal sum let's see the another method which is equal records so for this uh, I'll change the data set delete click on the input output categories drag and drop the input data set up a connection and I'll click on employee data run uh, it is necessary that we change the field types so click on preparation and select now let's try to understand this field in the first column we are having ID in the second column gender sec third column birth date education of an employee job category of an employee current salary beginning salary job time previous experience and minority we have to change the field types so first of all for the ID we'll make it double gender is a string let it be but date string let it be education let's change it to double double job category also we are changing current salary also we are changing it's not a string field it's a uh, uh, we'll have to select double run it and the field types are changed let's see how many records are there four seventy four records are there right four seventy four records are there and and we want to uh, use the option of uh, tiles that is pick up the tile drag and drop it here activate the equal records now this 474 divided by 5 so this records will be divided into 5 tiles 474 divided by 5 so more or less it will be 95 run it click ok click on this green tab and just check Tile number one, how many records are there? Yeah, see, 95 records are there. Now, in case of uh, equal records, grouping can be done. So, gender, run, equal tile, group, group according to the gender. So, how many tiles will be there? Yes, you are right, it will be again 10 tiles. Why? Because two groups are there, male, female, and in each, uh, in each group, Five tiles is there, so five into two. Let me check. It is the same way. So female, one, two, three, four, and five. Similarly, male, one, two, three, four, and five. So two, uh, two methods we have understood. One is equal sum, where the summation was equal according to the salary. And this is equal records. Then there is a third method, which is the smart tile. Let me change the data set for it. And set up a connection and I'll pick up the heart one data. We'll have to change the field type. So pick up the select. ID is no, we'll have to run it first, then only the data will change. Yeah, so age is double gender, let it be string, just pain type is a string, resting blood pressure is double, cholesterol is double because it's numeric. Fasting blood sugar is double. 
Resting ECG will be string. Maximum hours of exercise is double. Exercise engineer is string. Old pick is double. Straight slope, string. Heart disease, string. Run it. Click OK. So the field types have changed. Drag and drop the tiles. Now from here, activate the smart tile. So smart tile creates tiles based on standard deviation of the values in the specified field. So let's say the target variable is resting blood pressure, output verbose, name column, run. Click OK. Now press the run button. Click on this green tab. And just you can see, it has also given the name to it. It is extremely high blood pressure, high, above average, and average. We can also activate the option of grouping, that is, smart child grouping by gender. Press run. Click OK. And now. You can see the grouping has been done. That is the smart child. Uh, that is this output will be different for male and female. The next option is unique, unique values and manual. So first click on manual. So in case of uh, tile method manual, the user can specify the cutoffs for the tiles by typing a value on a new line for each range. So this we will do for age and we'll specify the values here. Let me write down 25, 50 and 75. So three cutoffs are there. So, so all those which are in 0 to 25, they are in uh, one tile, 26 to 50, another, 51 to 75, another, 76 to 100, another. And remove this tick and run it. Click OK and click on green tab. And see the tile. Can you see this tile number? Now this is according to the age. Age. So this should be in uh, second tile. Just check. And this should be in third tile. Now what is the age? Yeah, 53. So it will be in third tile. We can do grouping also. Activate the gender. Press run. Press OK. Click on green tab. And this female tile method manual and grouping done according to the gender. Now the last one is unique value. So for every unique value in a specified field or fields, a unique tile is assigned. If multiple fields are specified, the tile is assigned based on the combination of the values. But first of all, we'll have to identify the unique values. So how we can do this? Drag and drop the sorting tool. Testing pin type, ascending. And now pick up the tile. And from here, unique value, unique value on the basis of chest pain type and run. Click OK and just see. Can you see that the tiles have been created on the basis of unique value? You can also activate the grouping here. This is also possible. So unique value, 
group by gender run it click ok again click on green tab and just see gender and chest pain type so this was all about the tile tool which is available in Alteryx designer platform for more videos on Alteryx kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which i have uploaded many videos on data science machine learning and artificial intelligence please don't forget to like and share my videos you can also join me on different social medias link given in the description box